Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to Who is Jesus? This is our weekly study looking at Mark's Gospel. And we started last week with Mark's Gospel, chapter 1, and we read the first eight verses. I'm going to ask Keith to yeah. read for us today verses 9 to 13. Thank you, Keith. Right, thank you, Pauline. Mark's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 9 to 13. And it was the baptism and testing of Jesus. At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptised by John in the Jordan. Just as Jesus was coming out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. At once the Spirit sent him out into the wilderness. And he was in the wilderness for forty days, being tempted by Satan. He was with the wild animals, and angels attended him. Amazing, isn't it? Mm. Last Absolutely. week we learnt a little about John the Baptist, John the Dipper, John the Immerser. And we learnt about his message of repentance and baptism in water. But in this passage today, we see where Jesus comes to John to be baptised. Now, Jesus was the only human being that actually did not need to be baptised because he had done no wrong. But he set this example for us to come and be baptised. But an amazing thing happened at Jesus' baptism that had not happened at any other baptism that John had performed. Elsewhere in the, in the Bible, in God's holy book, it tells us that John had been told that when the Messiah came to him, he would know it was the Messiah because he would see the Holy Spirit descend upon him. And his cousin, Jesus, in the flesh, came along and asked John to baptise him. And at that amazing point of time, we see the whole of the Godhead involved. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, the Trinity. They were all present and in action at Jesus' baptism. I know that a lot of human mothers and fathers mm. speak very well of their children, and so they should. But this was something extraordinary. John begins to baptise Jesus, and the heavens are opened, and the Holy Spirit comes down like a dove and settles onto Jesus. But not only that, there is an amazing voice from heaven mm. that says, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. So that same Holy Spirit that was in Jesus, is that for us today as well? It is, it is indeed, um, but that's in another, another you're running ahead. You're oh, <laughs> right. That's fine. Yep. But God spoke those words. Yes. Imagine the God of the universe looks down and he said, mm. I love this man. Yes. I love this son of mine. I love him. And he has pleased me in all of his actions. Mm. That, I just think, is wonderful. So that's a father loving his son. Absolutely it is. Father. Yes. So... And that is yeah. true for all of us yes. today. Yes. As we trust in Jesus, mm. Mm. then we come into that relationship with the Father. Yeah. So I'm his son today. You are his son today. I'm a son. Yes, I'm Just a like daughter of the King. Jesus is the son of yes. God. Yes. Yeah. Wow. 
and he wants that mm. relationship with yeah. you yes. the same as he had with Jesus. He wants you to yeah. love him, follow him, Praise God. be with him, yes. just as Jesus loved the Father and did what the Father said. Wow. It's so if we haven't got an earthly father... We've got a heavenly we've father. We've got a heavenly father that we can trust in today. Yes, yeah, yeah. And he helps us. In every situation. In every situation in life. Just as you would call wow. on an earthly father for yeah, help, yeah. so you can call on your heavenly father for help. So if you didn't have a good relationship with your earthly father... Yeah, if you don't have a good relationship with your earthly father, this often makes recognizing and knowing God as Heavenly Father very difficult but you can ask yeah. the Lord to help you to deal with the poor relationship with your earthly father and to bring you into a, a real relationship wow. with yeah. your Heavenly Father That's so fantastic. that you can know the fathering that every one of us mm. is it. And if you don't know your earthly father, again, you can come into relationship with your heavenly father. And that will be so important for so many people today who really don't know. They may know the name of, but they really don't know their earthly fathers. So that's really genuine love. Yes. The yeah. love of a father. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you might not have received that love from no. an earthly father, but you can receive that love from your heavenly father. That's right. And that's what well, God is offering every Holy one of Spirit us today. Well. As we repent or turn away from our own way and start going God's way, as John told us last week, then we come into relationship. You see, it's not about us mm. um, acknowledging Almighty God. It's about us coming into relationship with Father yeah, God. Yeah. When Jesus' disciples, and we'll read this later on, asked him, teach us to pray, what did he teach them? He taught them, our Father. Yes. Not our almighty God and everlasting King, mm. but our, our Father. Father. So that's the prayer that we pray. Um, oh, we used to pray in school. school. <laughs> yes, yes, I yes. don't think the they Lord's do it quite prayer. so much now. No, no. But our Father who art in heaven, I yes, I know. and it's our Father. It's relationship, and that's what God wants for each one of us. If you're not His child, you can come into that relationship through that what yes. we talked about last week. Mm. If you are His child, He wants to develop and grow the relationship of father and child. Mm. And that's an offering to each of us today. And I'm going to leave that there. I know we've not covered the last couple of verses that Keith read, but I believe we'll look at that next week because this is so, so important. Yes. And I'm going to pray now and ask God to show you, each of us, that is, mm. his fathering. So if you've had difficulty with fathering mm. and if you're a father and you're having difficulty fathering your children, you can ask the father who runs the universe to help you. Let's pray. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Father God, we just say thank you that you wanted to show yourself as our father. And Lord, I just pray for uh, Keith mm. and I. I pray for anyone who listens to this broadcast yes. that they may come to know you as Father God. Mm. That they won't see you as a distant and a frightening figure, mm. but they'll come into that relationship yes. that opens their heart yeah. to a loving father-child relationship. And I pray especially for any who've been abused in yeah. any way mm. by their mm. earthly fathers, yeah. whether it's emotionally, physically, sexually. Lord God, I ask that you would come as Father, yeah. as good Father, mm. and heal those hurting, empty places in people's lives. And I ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. And thank you. Oh, thank you. For listening to Who Amen. is Jesus. Mm. And I pray yep. that we'll see you again another week. Yes. Who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? We're finding out. Yeah. God bless you. Amen.